Hi True Beauties! Well first, on this video I'm already going to let you know that my daughter is crying in the other room and you will hear her crying throughout this video because we are trying to break her off of her pacifier. Um, she's 18 months and it's just about time. Um, it breaks my heart because she's my baby. and. <laughs> You're going to hear her crying a whole lot. Uh, but the whole point of me posting is that I post as frequently as I can. So I am sorry about the last couple of weeks uh, not posting. Last weekend, or this past weekend on Saturday, I do have a pretty good excuse. I got food poisoning. First time ever. <clears throat> it was awful, awful, awful. And my husband got it too. Um, so we had a very interesting night, the both of us. Uh, I gotta say, it was a little nice to have somebody to go through it with, but thank goodness he recovered a lot faster than I did. He is amazing. He got up the next day, went to church, um, did everything that he needed to, like a trooper, God is good, and I stayed in bed. I needed the rest. I'm feeling a lot better today. Today was my first day back at work. Uh, my, my appetite is kind of growing back on me, but um, it, it gave me a lot to think about, especially since I was so helpless, uh, just completely helpless. I couldn't, I wasn't even strong enough to sit straight up in bed. I was so weak. I would get so dizzy when I would try to get up. Um, there, I just wanted to take a shower at one point, and I couldn't even do that. So Sunday, I laid in bed all day, all day. And Monday, I just, I still felt so blah. Uh, but I have incredible parents that just came to my rescue. They took care of my, my kids, and they took care of my husband. They made sure that we were fed. My mom folded every single, every single little piece of laundry that was in my house. She folded all of it. She put it all away in my drawers. Um, she cleaned my house. And she even did that with taking off some time at work, going into work late on Monday. And I, I can't even, I couldn't tell her enough how much that meant to me. I, I don't think we would have survived. I don't know what we would have done if they hadn't come to our rescue and been, been there for us to love us so much and to just have, just, just to give us the support that we needed. And, um, it got me really thinking about our support systems in our lives and how important it is to allow people, people to help us. I think a lot of times we kind of pride ourselves in, in doing something by ourselves. Um, maybe we feel like we're the only ones that can do it right, or uh, I don't know, maybe we, we want to prove something to ourselves that we can do it. And at that point, with going through all of that this past weekend, I had, I had nothing to prove. I just knew that I wasn't going to be able to move out of that bed, and I needed somebody to do the little things for me. And um, it reminds me of the story of the four friends that lowered their friend down the roof to Jesus. And Jesus was ministering in that house. And the four friends loved and cared about their sick friend so much that they climbed up a roof and lowered their friend on a mat down through the roof just so Jesus could minister to them that day. And I really feel like that's what my parents did for Brett and I. Uh, this past weekend, and for my kids. Uh, they loved us so much that they took us up on that mat. They lowered us down to Jesus, and they presented us to Jesus and said, uh, my daughter and my son need healing. And I think it's also very important for us to to want to get on that map and mat and to want to be lowered down. I, what if I would have said, no, 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 I'm fine, I'm fine. What if I would have pushed them away <clears throat> and told them that I didn't need any of that? I don't think I would have recovered as, as quickly as I did, and um, I, I don't think my family would have been in the place that we are right now, which is moving forward and uh, doing picking up where we left off. And that friend was healed in, in the Bible. The friend that was lowered down by the four friends was completely healed, and it was because of the faith of the four friends. And so if you're at a place right now where you're thinking I'm all alone or I, I think I can do this, I don't need to tell anybody, um, I got it, I have it all under control and just as long as I keep moving forward, it's all going to work out. And there is something about strengthening ourselves in the Lord, but the Bible also tells us to not forsake the brethren. And that means that we lie, rely on one another. That means that we call someone and tell them, I need help, I need you. 
Um, I can't do this by myself. And it's so important to be vulnerable and it's so important to be humble and, and to tell people that you don't have it all together because really, I don't have it all together. Um, I made up my bed so I can so I could tape this video so that way you wouldn't see that my bed was unmade. Let's be real here, okay? Um, I just got home from work. Like I said, my daughter is crying. The reality is we don't have it all together. So trying to put on a facade that we do and then going through life by ourselves and struggling so much without that help, it's, it's so not worth it. And I believe that God puts family and friends in our lives to fill those gaps when we really, really need it. And so that's what this weekend taught me today, and, and that's just what I wanted to share with you, um, kind of a little insight into my weekend and insight into what my heart's been thinking and how thankful I am for, for family and friends who really love and support me so much. So go out. Maybe you make a list of people uh, that, that you think would be there for you, and, and maybe you ask them, you know, if I ever needed anything, uh, would you help me out with something? Maybe you live out of state. Uh, different from your from your families and so you do need to rely more on friends and family maybe you start cultivating those friendships and uh, just letting you know that you're here for one another and that's so important it's very important so I hope that you have a wonderful night um, I'm very thankful that I'm feeling so much better and uh, hopefully we'll be posting a little bit more on true beauty and sharing some more wonderful things with you and please share some things back with me. Maybe there's an instance that you needed some support and I would love to hear about it. So feel free to comment on the blog and I will talk to you all guys very soon. Bye.